Hey everybody, it's Carrie from the Rapid City Public Library, your friendly neighborhood makerspace librarian. And today, I'm back with another science short. We are going to discuss uh, an Italian mathematician from the 1200s today. His name was Leonardo Fibonacci. Leonardo studied math all over the world. And one of the things that he discovered, which is why it's named after him, is a certain sequence of numbers, the Fibonacci sequence. And the Fibonacci sequence basically looks like this. And one thing that you'll notice if you look closely, this series of numbers, each number at the end is made up of adding the two numbers in front of it together. But the weird thing is, is that this sequence of numbers makes an appearance in all kinds of other places. So the Fibonacci sequence we see in architecture, we see it in engineering, we see it in music. In music, the Fibonacci sequence presents itself like this. So we have our octave, which is one range of 13 keys. 13 keys, eight of them are white keys, five of them are black keys, and that pattern repeats itself all throughout music going from the low tones up to the high tones. And you guessed it, five, eight, and 13 are all numbers in the Fibonacci sequence. If you take the Fibonacci sequence and you graph it to get like a picture of what those numbers make, it looks like this. This is called the golden ratio and we see it all the time. We see it in nature, we see it in art, and we even see it in the foods that we eat. Don't believe me? I will be happy to demonstrate. How many of you have gone to baseball games? Hot summer afternoon? Get a bag of sunflower seeds to eat? If you've ever taken a close look at the head of a sunflower, you will notice that it starts to spiral out just like the golden ratio based on the Fibonacci sequence. We see it in this really cool kind of broccoli called Romanescu broccoli. We see it in fiddlehead ferns. We see it in snail shells. And something I guarantee you have seen, we see it in pine cones. So the next time you are out taking a walk and happen to see some pine cones either on trees or on the ground, take a closer look. If you look at the bottoms of them, you'll see that they spiral out. And pine cones are cool because they actually spiral out in both directions, but it's not the same number. There are far more spirals going one way than the other way. And now you can amaze your friends and family with all of your knowledge about the Fibonacci sequence, which is also really fun to say. Thank you for following along with this week's science short. I hope to see you back next week when we will be taking a look at something I like to call wizard gas. Have a good week, guys. Bye.